Financial inclusion means everybody in the world, no matter their economic status, can participate in their economy securely, easily, and on fair terms. As it is today, Isha gathers rags and debris to sell. She earns cash and sacrifices 30% of her meager earnings to the middleman's fee. She stores the rest of her money away where it is vulnerable and earns her no interest. Pradeep, a street sweeper, receives direct benefit transfers from the government for essential goods and services. However, very few merchants accept electronic payments. To access these funds, he must cash out with a high-fee middleman. For basic services, like banking or water, Isha must travel long distances or wait in long lines, losing time she might spend more productively elsewhere. Like Isha, Pradeep loses much of his time buying and collecting basic needs for his family, such as food and fuel. The cost of these economic realities is $22 billion per year to the Indian government alone, which means everyone is making sacrifices they shouldn't have to. A more perfect world is within reach. Let's imagine living in a more perfect world. Isha would have access to a small business loan and be paid digitally on her mobile phone Without middleman's fees and without the insecurity of cash in a box at home, Isha could do a lot more with her time and money. Pradeep can use his digital debit card to make all the purchases he needs. Thanks to wide merchant acceptance of electronic payments, Pradeep's direct government subsidy can be instantly turned into secure orders for deliveries of his family's essential services. Through the Government of India's efforts, new bank accounts have been created for millions of people. Mobile and card-based technologies will offer these account holders inclusion in the modern mainstream economy and enable them to plan for their future. Financial inclusion means more than having a bank account. USAID and the Government of India are partnering with market-leading organizations to ensure the newly banked can use their accounts to buy food or pay school fees. This means making sure that merchants accept digital payments so that all Indians can pay electronically wherever they spend their money. By working to expand merchant acceptance, the partnership will help solve a critical piece of the puzzle, providing Indians like Isha and Pradeep opportunities to store and spend their money more securely, easily and fairly. From where we stand today, we can see two different worlds, the one we live in and the world we will build together. Do you know what I'm talking about?